Verse here. Today we will be doing something really fun because Tokyo Treat reached out to me and they were so kind to send me two of their snack boxes. And instead of me just eating those snacks on camera, I thought about a fun little idea where we would take five random snacks and turn them into characters. And before doing so, I'm going to show you the contents of both boxes. Tokyo Treat aka Japan's Best Bites was jam-packed with seasonal spring snacks. And I was surprised by how many snacks were packed in this little box and it was quite heavy. Everything was packaged neatly and nothing was damaged during shipping. And also I didn't expect to find a soda can. Also there was a catalog that had a list of all the snacks, short descriptions on how they taste and ingredients that may cause an allergic reaction. This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. The other box, which is called Sakurako, is dedicated to exploring the history of traditional Japanese snacks and how they are still made today. Learn about the history behind those traditional snacks and how they are made still to this day made me even more excited to try them. I'd say Sakurako box is all about tradition and regional specialities. As you may know, every prefecture in Japan has some things that it's famous for. If you've seen my videos, you may have noticed that I like incorporating cute packaging into my art or making character designs based on the packaging, so we're going to do that, but to make it more fun, I'm going to randomize my choices, and the snacks that are going to be turned into characters are... Curry Kamisen Senbei Mini Chocolate Marshmallows Hitoike Cafe Cream Cake Chestnut Kanoko or Kanako and Edomai Sushi Candy And the first one is Edomai Sushi Candy I immediately thought about summer and imagined that you could get this fancy sushi candy during the festival so I drew it as a boy in a yukata and obviously, I got salmon sushi candy, so I needed to add stylized waves and salmon flying around. And I love this fluffy red string around the candy, so I put it on the character's neck. And to keep it even more authentic, I got my old Japanese Kuretake watercolors to work. I hope you like this character design. Next up, I got to color the chestnut kanoko curl and immediately when I saw this small jiggly snack I thought about a girl with beautiful golden hair. Also I wanted to incorporate chestnuts into this illustration, a lot of golden shades and I designed it in a more traditional way. I thought that I gave her a winter yukata with fur coat on top and a little chestnut into her hand. Also, I decided to add some ornaments and the finished illustration turned out so beautifully that I couldn't take my eyes off of it for a few minutes because I was really satisfied with how it turned out, especially considering that I haven't been drawing with watercolors lately, so it was a really nice experience to make an illustration with them again. Curry Kamisen Senbei had such a fun little packaging and I love curry because for the first time I tasted when a person I loved cooked it for me and it was the most delicious meal ever so I wanted to make an illustration to reflect how I personally feel about curry I feel like this is a comfort meal for a lot of people and I drew a girl with those little snack curry pieces together her dress represents the curry plate obviously one side is curry the other side is rice and i have a lot of fun creating this illustration i love the golden brown tones and how it generally turned out into this beautiful piece so i hope you enjoy her design too and let me think what are your thoughts about curry and have you tried it or cooked it for anyone so when I got to drawing mini chocolate marshmallows, let me tell you first of all, they were absolutely delicious, small, fluffy, and I was snacking all throughout the creation of this illustration on them. 
So it helped me get into the mood for this sweet, sweet girl. And while I was sketching behind behind the scenes, and um, I came up with this idea that mini chocolate marshmallows is friends uh, with Hitoike Cafe Cream Cake, and they are going to go to a cafe and eat delicious snacks together. You will see the future design for the cafe cream cake soon and you will understand what I meant by them being friends and those illustrations they mirror each other and while I was drawing her I wanted to incorporate the colors of the packaging blue brown and I also felt like it needed a little bit more pop so I added just a tiny little bit of yellow to make it come to life so I hope you like her design for me I just feel the sweetness of this girl because it reflects the sweetness of those tiny teeny tiny chocolate marshmallows they were absolutely delicious and last but not least is hito ike cafe cream cake it was so soft inside the packaging i wanted to eat it so bad but first of all i needed to draw the character so of course she's wearing a beret and a cute big soft cardigan to represent the softness of the cake and softness of her sweet personality when i saw the snack i thought about hmm, what kind of person would eat that and to my mind came this image of a bubbly lovely girl that likes to go out that likes to go to the cafe and try new snacks and frappuccinos and coffees and all of that stuff that is really fashionable and likes to accessorize a lot and of course she has a lot of cute charms on her flip phone and she is friends with chocolate marshmallow girls so those illustrations look really cute together and I will show you in the end how it all turned out so I hope you enjoyed the process of creating those illustrations and let's see everything together now and this is the final result of me turning those snacks into characters let me know your associations and your thoughts on those designs i had a last drawing with watercolors considering that i haven't touched them in a while it was really pleasant to draw with them again maybe i should do more watercolors drawings in the future and all throughout creating those five drawings i was eating the snacks it was absolutely delicious it didn't feel like it was overwhelming or it didn't feel like I was binging on junk food you know that feeling that heavy feeling in your stomach when you eat a lot of different snacks not at all it was super light nothing was too salty or too extreme the tastes were really nice subtle nuanced even and I loved the chips so much I wish I had like a box of those chips in my room right now because those are the best seaweed chips that I have tried in my life ever they were buttery and creamy my favorite snack number one and I cannot wait to try the rest of them so I will let you know how they tasted join our discord community I hope you like the illustrations and thank you for coming bye bye